Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Tate Dooley, the founder of Backyard Farming Supply, and this is my queen bee. We would be nowhere without her. Hi, I'm Kelly Dooley. We make a good team. We've accomplished a lot. And now we're going to do something we've never done before. Taking our homemade cocktails to a whole nother level. So join us today for making corny keg cocktails on tap at your house. And so today we're actually choosing to do one of my kind of favorite hybrid drinks, which is actually a ginger lavender tequila. It's kind of like a margarita, but it's way less sweet and it's way less lemon limey. I'm personally not that big of a fan of margaritas, but I love tequila and the you know lack of effects that it has on me, especially the next day, because did you know that tequila is actually a probiotic and it has a lot of really good good bacteria and probiotics inside of it. So the biggest and most important thing to bring cocktails on tap to a kegerator near you is a Cornelius keg. And all that it does is it has this top, which this top here actually pops open like so. When you flip this lever, you flip the lever and you actually kind of let this thing dangle down and you can get it out just like that. The next thing to know is you've got an in and an out for gas coming in, liquid coming out. Gas is always gray for the quick connects and liquid is always black. And we're gonna make sure that this is nice and clean. I washed it out really well with water here a couple seconds ago. The first thing we're going to add is ice. Get it down to temperature really quickly. As you guys know, when you're injecting CO2 into these beverages and the amount of carbonic acid that can actually carbonate your beverage is directly related to temperature. The next step is we're gonna do our math. And we went in here and we did all of our math. It's pretty simple. For this size corny keg, we're gonna have one full bottle of lavender syrup, one and a half bottles of the ginger syrup, one and a half hand of the tequila mix. We're actually just gonna fill the rest up with water. So let's get to it. I always add the booze first when I'm making my cocktails at home. So I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the same protocol. And I'm gonna take this whole handle of tequila in here. And I got the Monte Alban. <laughs> it's still pretty good quality. Oh, spilling tequila, that's good. And next is we've got our syrup. So I'm gonna add one full bottle of ginger syrup. And already this is smelling delicious. It's fun to have new drinks, new variety, and new things. This isn't a drink for you. The next syrup that we're gonna add is this full bottle of lavender. And I don't know about you guys, but ginger and lavender to me go together really, really well because you get that spiciness of the ginger, but then you get that florally kind of sweetness of that lavender. And I think it's gonna make it for a really good combo. And based upon kind of what I'm seeing in there, this is where you can use that executive decision making just like you get to do at your home bar versus buying drinks out and about, which this comes into play. Mm -hmm. yeah. Adding pitcher number two of the water so that it's not all booze and syrup. Gotta have a little bit of that water in there. We're bringing a really high pH, really pure water into this, which makes it kind of an artesian cocktail, which I'm really excited about. Increasing the pH level of the water that you use in your corny keg cocktails can do a couple things. First off, it won't give you as bad of a hangover because this water actually hydrates you on a whole nother level and the hydration actually sticks to your body versus when you are in an acidic condition, your body becomes dehydrated much easier. We're gonna add one more bottle of water. I think we'll be good to go at that point. All right, let's toss this lid back in here. And we usually go down with the big side first. So it's nice and aligned and seated up in there. And then you just simply twist it like that. And as you'll see here on this side, it actually says in. And so that is the gas in. The other side is the liquid out. Pull up the bottom, slide it down, and then bada bing, bada boom. Once it's clipped into place, it's good to go. Gently roll this thing. 
You want to gently roll it around by leaving it without agitating and having bubbles go into it. You're reducing the amount of oxygen in there. The less oxygen, the better the flavor remains. And we're going to shut off the gas to get a proper degas. And now we're going to pull up and see right there. That was all the air. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to inject more CO2. We're gonna put it back down on the ground and we're really gonna repeat this process a couple times. Some people say, depending on altitude, that you need to do this process more or less times. And really it comes down to when that is all CO2 and no O2. And we're gonna turn this back on once more, one more time. If you go through this process for about 30 minutes, you will have a perfectly carbonated drink. Let's check back once we get this process done. Bring it into your kegerator, grab your liquid outline. Once it snaps down, you're good to go. We're already charging. Booze shot up in there that quickly. Let's see what we got. All right, guys. <gasps> all right, babe, what do you think? I'm so excited. After all that, how long have I been talking about this? A long time. And we finally figured out how to do it. Ever since I got the hot tub, I was like, one day I'm gonna have tequila, ginger, lavenders on tap at my beck and call. Takes homemade cocktails to a whole nother level. What do you let's, think, babe? Let's try it. Should we try it? Yes. All right, you did the math. So I'm gonna let you have uh -oh. the first test. The pressure's oh, on. Oh, wow. And look how much easier that is to pour. And look at the bubbles. Look at that oh, carbonation. Perfect carbonation. Oh, smell it. Oh, that smells fire. It's delicious. Fresh. What? That is amazing. Well, we really appreciate you guys following us on this corny keg adventure. And if you guys have any drinks and or cocktails that you're curious about putting into your kegerator or into a keezer or whatever it may be, let us know in the comments down below. And if you have some future ideas or suggestions that we should put into this bad boy, let us know. Share your recipes below. Have a good one. Sorry. Before we had kids <laughs> and we bought a martini shaker. A martini shaker. shaker. And then we and had then a kid not very shortly after. When you own a, a martini shaker, it's dangerous. You don't have kids, it's Saturday, it's a beautiful afternoon. Why not make some martinis?